Hello and welcome back to Nutricity. I have been playing around with my little thermometer right here and just seeing what mods I can scan and which ones I can't. So I can't scan like um, Tinker's Construct. It, most of those won't even show up. At least the weapons won't. Uh, some of the backpacks show up, some of them don't. Ars Magica doesn't. I don't know if this Antique Atlas will. No, see so you won't. But, however, almost everything in the Witchery mod does end up scanning. For example, watch it not scan. <laughs> okay, so this is the Seer st Seer Stone? Seers. And it's awesome. That works. No problem at all. So even the books which I only scanned one so far so I've got to go through all the witchery mod and scan everything now that's kinda of interesting because I found out there's a lot of stuff I have not scanned um, most of the stuff in here I have but there's a lot of stuff that I just didn't know would work so it's all a learning experience I was gonna update the Ars Magica has a new update and uh, I was gonna update it but as soon as I did, it I, I have to say, it looks awesome because you got to have the animation API uh, mod with it. And it looks really cool as far as the trees and everything. They're all changed, but it crashed a lot of the other mods. Uh, I couldn't end up interacting with uh, Project Red at all. It erased some of the other things that were from... Uh, Tinker's Construct Mechworks so I took it back out and I hate that because it oh, I have to say it looks really awesome I did add in just because I want to see it's called the uh, Tomahawk Tom, Tomahawk mod it allows me to get my axes I right click it and it tosses it it's so cool now I've already tried it on my little test world to check it out and it works with all regular hatchets all regular axes and up to diamond it, but it does not work with uh, like for instance the tinkers construct ones it works with the regular crafted ones which it gave me a, a wild idea so I want to try it I want to try to make a cool axe that I can start using however it doesn't work with like the battle axe and it doesn't work with the full the axe that chops down the trees the complete tree yeah down here the lumber axe it won't work with either one of those but I mean I just thought of a ton of possibilities making a regular axe you know obsidian is a plus six um, Maninium is plus eight. I mean, even a copper, which I have a ton of, is plus six. So that kind of gave me a little bit more, a couple more ideas I could do with. Now, however, I tried it on my little test world with uh, this axe right here, the bound axe. It crashed the whole world. It would not allow me back in at all. I had to erase that test world. <laughs> so I think it kind of added a little bit different, you know, a couple little unique things just so I can try out. Oh, and the last episode, I think it was the last episode, I was standing right over here and I got hit by a skeleton. Remember when I clicked this crystal ball, it said I will be hit by an arrow soon. That was why the guy spawned in. So let's see what today ends up being. I will be struck by an arrow. Great! Why can't it? I want a different one. Yeah, gum it. <laughs> Give me another one. Arr. He's always when I least suspect him too. Okay. So what we are gonna do is I've already put out the stuff to go ahead and make two other war other wear chalk. So we're gonna do one of the in where's my book? There it is. This one, the Rite of Transposition, which it gives you transpose iron from the ore below. 
I thought that'd be kind of cool. And since I have the upstairs with uh, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, I can trade uh, iron for diamonds. So that's one of the things I'm going to end up doing to get more uh, diamonds. The other one using the witchery mod and I can't find it at the moment. But anyways, it summons uh, summons something to go look for diamonds. But anyways, uh, the only problem is before I started doing this episode I hadn't made another crafting table. So let's make a crafting table real quick. I've already got a place outside. We might take that wither skeleton skull that and that and we'll leave the egg here. I don't feel like hooking up a piston just to knock the egg off. And should have enough. So let's see real quick witchery because I've been meaning to make another I guess I gotta spell witchery right. That would probably help. Yes. Hmm. So altars. Uh, Breath of Goddess and Excel of Horned One. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. XL of Horned One and... Because we've got plenty right there. Where's the XL of the Horned... I mean, no. Breath of the Goddess. And then it takes a normal water bottle, which I think I have... I need two of them. Let's just go ahead and get these up here. Hold up. Hold up! Put that up in there. Give me my bottles on the top shelf. One, two. Two should be all I need. <coughs> Sorry. Now I have rearranged some things. <coughs> I have put all the potions right here uh, that I was making. Because I just like the look of it better on this side. And then right here is just a lot of the odds and ends. Because every time I kept on putting the mutating sprig into the, uh, the inventory slot over here, it kept disappearing. And then, like, the brew bag has all of my brews that are, like, you throw and everything. So, let's, we need one more of these. So, we're going to take all of those, and then we'll take four of these. So, put that in there. Give me four. Go figure. Okay. So it was down here, I think. Hold on. Wanna just click it? Oh yeah, that'd be good. I need <laughs> uh, rowing wood. Rowing wood. There should be rowing wood in here. Yes. Okay. So we need four cement. Come on. There you go. I'm gonna have to make another derp. Get this started at least. Because that gives me three, and then I'm gonna need three more. So let me get four more of these. And you can take these back since I already have some. Give me that that in there. I guess I could have put it in my own little backpack thingy. I think that went over there. That went over there. Water bottle went up there. Yes. Why am I putting it there? Okay. So we are going to destroy my skull apparently. It's like the third time that that has happened. Uh, normally it knocks it off, see, like that, but sometimes it ends up destroying it. I don't know why. So I'll have to go get another Wither Skeleton Skull. Derp. That is annoying. <clears throat> but that's okay. We'll take these two Skeleton Skulls for right now. It's like when you start playing around with more and more mods and some of the things you end up starting to expect. 
because like for instance I had um, when I first put it on there I couldn't hit it off it wouldn't let me it would just it was permanently there so I had to go ahead and use a pickaxe on it well then it disappeared on me and I was like okay so I guess I'll use something else on it and then when I got this ability I just go ahead and shoot and it would pop off but it's been destroyed three times already so <laughs> it's not that big a deal all right we're gonna go this way to the barn I've already got an area lined up Oop, well, I guess we can go this way oh maybe not and as much as fast as I like this because it adds to your speed I think I'm gonna replace it because it's just and he's ended up breaking this guy's gone on strike. He's just going to hold the meat. He's not going to do any work. Oh, me, dude. Why? Why? See? Raw beef. He's own raw beef. But. And. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> it replaced my oven. with this. Well, that might be the reason why you're not working right now. Ah! Give me that. Get that. <laughs> These guys are cool. Oh! Do I gotta do it with an empty hand? Here you go. Oh, yeah sometimes you end up getting stuff from them. That's kind of cool. See, I got an egg, I got raw pork chop, and I got a leather. Which, uh... What, dude, what are you doing with it? Really? Really? Oh, gosh. If I didn't have so much of it already, I might actually fire you, but I don't really care. At the moment. You, give, give me this. You're fired. <laughs> just trying to take everything away from him. So I have to come back and fix this too. Oh, jeez. Anyways. Alright, so we're going to go run over here. You see where it says spot? That's the area we're going to. Okay, I think I grabbed everything. Oh. No, don't. Not spider web. Over the hill and through. Whoa, woods. And I want to also work on. Uh, see, I've got these trees here to go ahead and get me some more dye and stuff like that. But I want to uh, actually make a. What, really? Um, a farm, so to speak. <coughs> where the. Uh, the golems will go ahead and start knocking it down for me. I think that would end up being pretty good. Because I go through a lot of dyes sometimes. Whoa. When I'm upgrading my inventory from Project Red. Now I'm hoping that this is enough forestry around to... I don't think I have to have a lot of area. And I think I forgot a piece of chalk. I did. Because I don't think it's in my backpack. Nope. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to look at this and then I'll go back and get the go chalk for the centerpiece. And I don't... It doesn't say... I, it shows this right here, but it doesn't say anything about not having the um, the altar in the middle. So what we'll do is we're going to draw out this chalk as soon as I can find a place to put all the stuff. Now this one looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like a seven. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, sheep, you're gonna have to move, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had to build it up on this side a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've never done one this big, so bear with me on this. It, that kind of looks right, but it says one, two, three, okay. And then we'll set up the alt. That doesn't look right, does it? Because it looks like it's. F Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's three across right there. It looks like it should be like this right here, don't it? But that's four across. Oh, great. This is going to be a humongous circle. So hold on. Yeah, I think I was supposed to do it right here. Cheap! Get out of my way. I ended up, uh, I put one of the um, circles down wrong. And I was trying to, I thought I had it right, and I was trying to pick it back up. And then, wait! Die. wonder if that counts as my getting shot with an arrow. I mean, he did kind of pop out of nowhere. So that should be 15 by 15. I mean, it looks like it. So let's, let's go right across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. So I just went too far on that. All right. Alter, alter, alter. And while this is building, I shall transform into a bat, run back to the thing, grab the chalk, and then come back. Oops. Um, um. Hey, hey, stop it. There. This is going to have 2,000, which this one says nothing. Okay. So let's transform into a bat. We'll run to the base. We'll get our thing. Maybe sleep it off. That way it's daytime. Whenever I end up coming back out. Alright. Let's see. Needed shock. It's not in here, it's in the, whoa, tree there, or cactus. Yeah, submit. Now let's transform. I knew I forgot something, but I couldn't remember what it was. We'll run upstairs, we'll sleep it off, we'll fly back out, we'll do the spell. What? And it replaced my couch with a lamp. Oh, and it took my chair. Oh, gosh, and it... I don't even know what was there. What is that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to craft some more signal. Interesting. So I imagine I'll keep finding things that are gone. Oh, I haven't even gone upstairs yet. So that should be interesting all in itself. 
and it wasn't all Ars Magica uh, updating it. I ended up accidentally putting in um, an ID fix mod, and uh, I didn't realize that I put it in when I hit start. So it's a lot of my fault. All right. So we take this, put that down, transform back, and let's see what we're at. 2082. That's not bad. I figured it would have. I mean, the one in the base. Well, it's got a dragon egg on it too. It's probably less now because it doesn't have a wither skull, which I have to go get one again. All right. So it calls for Ender Pearl Iron Ingot, Blaze Powder, a Diamond Vapor. And a tune stone charged. So here's the iron ingot, here's the ender pearl, here's the blaze powder, here's the diamond vapor, here's the tune stone. And we come over here, right click right there, things start disappearing. Get my stone back. Oh, there's an iron. There's some more. And it's just going to bring it up from the bottom and give it to me. Sheep, that's my iron. Get away. Ooh. Now, I didn't have any on me at the time. So I'm curious to see how much I end up getting. Hmm. Kind of expected a little bit more than that. Oh, there's one on the... So 34. That's not too bad. Is there any down here? That's not bad. Considering I didn't do any work. I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to end up making another... I want to make one that I can go to locations and do this. So, you know, I can just go to a location and pop this circle down, pop this um, out, and be able to Summit it right then and there. And where I'm at just to get more iron. So I think that would end up being a good idea. So it would be like a traveling altar. And I'll keep this on there. And also whenever I finally summon a demon. I don't want to summon a demon anywhere near my house. So yeah. I know it's kind of an uneventful episode. But it cut. You know I got 34 iron out of it. And we got to see more witchery. So, I shall catch you next time, and we shall do a little bit more witchery and keep going. Alright, till next time. Later.